So this is my Logitech squeeze box radio. Picked it up at a thrift store, managed to get it working again uh, by installing a new server for it because Logitech has abandoned it and no longer runs the online services for it. But I have a new problem. I recently moved my YouTube recording area to a different room in my house. And now I have to do everything via Wi-Fi because there's no wired internet in here. This, of course, has led to a new problem. This guy constantly disconnects from the Wi-Fi. Why, you may ask? Because it's crap. But there is a solution for it, and we're going to try it out. And that's today on Tech Guy Life. <music> So if you use Wi-Fi 6, apparently this guy will randomly disconnect from the internet, which I found out the hard way, mainly because I was playing some songs and I got through one song and then it goes, can't connect. And that was it. It wouldn't connect anymore. I thought maybe it was my server, went and restarted the service on my server. Nope, still wouldn't connect. A little bit more research into it. Find out, yep, it's the actual unit, cannot stay connected to Wi-Fi when there's Wi-Fi 6 around. What's the solution? The community is the solution. The community that makes the Lyrion Music Server, which is the open source free server that you can run at home, has a community-based firmware for this machine. So now I can get that, install it on this machine, and hopefully that will solve my Wi-Fi problems. So let's see if we can do that. So the first thing you need to do is run this on an Ethernet connection rather than the wireless in order to maintain a proper connection because we are going to upgrade the firmware. So I have run a 100-foot Ethernet cable from here to the closest Ethernet port, which is down a flight of stairs, in order to do this. So we go to Settings advanced and networking oops wrong one can't see it at this angle there we go networking choose a network connect to ethernet all right we are connected to ethernet again the second thing you need to do is restore factory settings because apparently you can, behind the scenes, apply some fixes to the actual Logitech software. You need to get rid of those first. Okay, so I factory reset everything. I had to select English and uh, select Ethernet again, uh, but then it tried to connect to Squeezebox Radio and then a switch server came up. Uh, so I hit that and the my original settings were still in there. So now it is back connected to my server and everything is good except for the fact that we're still on the factory firmware. Now we have to switch to the PC and do some of the steps from there. We have to get some stuff set up on the server. So for these instructions, I am using a forum post that I found and I will put a link to it down below. But now that we're onto the server, the first thing that we have to do is install a plugin that lets us install the community firmware. All right, let's go find that plugin. So apparently we just go to here and we go to settings for the server, I'm assuming. And we go to manage plugins. All right, so we need to go to the third party plugins. And there should be one called Community Firmware, right there. So all we have to do is check the box, and I believe that's it. Well, we have to click Save Settings, too. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And yep, Save Settings. And changes will take place at the next application restart. So this is going to restart the service on your actual server. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so when your server is finally restarted, we're just going to go ahead and refresh. 
the settings page. That's going to, well, because my server has not restarted yet. I'm going to go check my server. I'll be right back. Okay, restarted the server and poof, it came right back. Okay, so back to the same place we were before. So we go to the settings of the server and then in here we drop down and go to manage plugins or we can just go straight to the community firmware right there. And then you just, because it's installed, but now we have to actually enable it. So we want it to tell it to do this. So we turn that on and go save settings and it is done. So now it is ready to deliver the update to your player. And almost immediately, my player has said, there is a new firmware, which is what's supposed to happen. So I am gonna go ahead and install that and see what happens. So it pops up and says, begin update 9.0.1 R17036, which is the current firmware at the time of recording. So we're just gonna go begin update. Now it is downloading. And there is a little percentage marker right there. And there's a bar coming up across the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but this is progressing pretty well. And it looks like it's getting its three quarters done. Okay, it says 100%. Installing now. So it downloaded it. Now it's actually installing the firmware. And restarting, it says. Ooh, it says Lyrion now instead of, uh, instead of Logitech. Nicely done. Ooh. All right. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> okay. It's connecting to my Wi-Fi. All right. So the old one used to say, connect to Ethernet, connect to wireless. And then you pick wireless and then pick your wireless network. This new firmware apparently combines everything together. So you can either choose Ethernet or all the Wi-Fi networks will start to show up in the list. So I'm going to go into my playlists because I have one. And this is taking too long. It says it's connected, but it's not. It's taking its sweet time. And it's disconnected again, and there it's connect, reconnected. Yeah, this is not a fun experience. And it's disconnected again. And reconnected. Well, this did not fix crap for me. I wonder if I have to change some of those other settings. Well, let me, uh, let's go do some more research. All right, so, yeah, wasn't having a whole lot of luck with this. Uh, but what I did was I set up an old router with uh, Wi-Fi 6, I guess. And at least it's staying connected to that now. Because before it wasn't staying connected to anything. I keep getting the fan in the reflection on this glossy thing. Sorry about that. Uh, and now you get the camera. Oh, I just can't win. Anyway, I'll uh, put it... Uh, there's gloss everywhere. It's been connected now for a bunch of minutes. Played six songs in a row of YouTube safe music. So I'm just going to keep letting it go and see what happens. It's the next day. The system's working fine when it's not connected to a Wi-Fi 6. But I really want to get it connected to my regular Wi-Fi so I don't have to run the Wi-Fi on an old router in order to get this thing connected. Another option I read online was to get a Wi-Fi... Uh, bridge for it and it's like but that's not the point it has wi-fi built in why can't it just use the wi-fi that i have and the long answer is is that yes it's older wi-fi compared to newer wi-fi security blah 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 but i went to this source forge site for the community firmware and found that they have a new release so what I've done is I've downloaded this, and in order to get it onto your server, you have to go into your server's website, go into the server settings, and drop down and go into 
where was it? Go into the server status page. And this will give you all the information on your server. One of the important pieces of information it will give you is where it stores its data. So right here is the cache folder. So on my physical server, this is where I want to put, there'll be a folder for the updates and you will download, depending on your radio, mine's this one here. You download this and you put these files, so you unzip it, put the files into that cache folder, and then your radio will show up with an update. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because some of the changes that they report in the change log has to do with my specific radio and that Wi-Fi uh, other features menu that I was curious about. It's really messed up on the display and it doesn't work right. So I'm hoping that this firmware might correct that and I can check out those options and see what is there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get the firmware upgraded and I'll come back and let you know how it went. Well, that didn't work. The test firmware or the new version, version 50, uh, didn't do anything. It did fix the menus that were a problem before that I couldn't read. Tried all those options nothing worked. This thing will not go onto Wi-Fi 6 unless I change something on my on my access point and my router and I don't really feel like doing that especially just for this one device. So I'm gonna leave the old Wi-Fi in place and use it for old devices. I'm sure I've got a few other devices that'll probably just want the old Wi-Fi style but this is where I'm gonna draw the line for this thing. If you're having the same problems Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a, pro a proper fix for Wi-Fi 6 unless you dig into your router and change a bunch of settings there. But I guess because this device is old, why should I expect it to work on brand new, higher level Wi-Fi? I'm sure Wi-Fi 7 is probably just as bad for that. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your relatives, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.